everybody welcome back to the travel cabin it's a beautiful fall day here in minnesota a lot of you guys were really blown away by how much i was able to fit into such a tiny space and 32 square feet four by eight that is a tiny space so i thought in this video i could talk about how you can do more with less space especially if we're talking tiny houses and cabins so let's dive into it when I was first building this bad boy, I had to look at two main topics. I had to look at my limitations and I had to look at my needs. Now the limitations that I was working within uh, were that I couldn't just tow something that was super heavy because I'm towing it behind my Subaru Outback. So it had to be within the safe towing weight for my car. Um, also, I wanted it to be small enough that I could easily take it on gravel roads and disperse camp and park it on the side of roads and, and not have a hard time maneuvering it and things like that. So those were my primary limitations. Now, let's talk about my needs. I needed a turnkey structure. I, I, I've set up enough tents and gear throughout the years and I, I'm kind of tired of it. So I wanted to be able to park this thing and really have everything set and ready to go. I wanted a kitchen inside here. I wanted to have a couch. I wanted to have a way to sleep, so a bed. And I wanted to be able to house all of my toys and tools and things that I would want out in the woods. And so those were some of the big needs. Now the major need, the biggest need of all is that this thing had to fit me, my wife, and our dog. And so that was probably the biggest challenge, especially the sleeping situation. So once you have your needs and your limitations sorted out, that's the framework that you have to work with. And that is when it gets fun because that's when you get to dream up exactly what you're going to build. So as I mentioned before, it's all about your needs and your limitations. So here was one of the main ways that I think I utilized space rather well. I knew that with our couch and bed area here, that we would want to have things within arm's reach of when we're either sitting or laying down in bed. Space is at a premium in here. And if I had shelving out like this, well, number one, it doesn't really give you that much storage. If you look at this, it's barely big enough to stack these books. And also this wood adds a lot of weight. So I had to think to myself, how can I add storage while keeping down the weight. And so that's why I went with these mesh pockets and they do such a good job. Not only does it allow you to keep them up out of the way. Also, when you're sitting or laying in bed, you're able to reach your things rather easily. And that's what it's all about. So I think that is a really good example of using space well. This was another addition that just seemed really obvious to me. We've got these rafters up here and there's all of this space that can be utilized. That's the need, storage, right? But the limitation is we don't wanna add a ton of weight on top because that is gonna create a very unsafe towing situation. So what I created here is a little shelving, a little slip that allows me to keep pillows, very lightweight items, and a blanket up there. That does more than you could even imagine. Having our pillows stored up there keeps them out of like this space or just from being chucked underneath the couch and stuff like that, it keeps things organized. And when you're in a tiny space like this, you need that organization. Another simple example of, of this is just with our toilet paper up here. You know, once again, I didn't want to put things that were too heavy up high, uh, but toilet paper weighs basically nothing and it's something that we needed in here. And so being able to store our toilet paper rolls up there um, solved that problem. So we're utilizing space really well, um, but also working within our limitations once again. Whenever I'm trying to find new places to put things, I kind of look at all the empty space, right? So when I was looking for a spot for our garbage can, I saw this space right here and I thought, okay, that seems pretty perfect. Now the problem is when I had this mounted here, as you can see, if we fill this up, it's really hard to pull the bag out because you're just kind of like jamming a big bag of garbage and you're trying to jam it out of a space like this. And so I had to think to myself, okay, can this not fit there? Or is there a better way to do this? And that is why I came up with the hinge system. 
So as you can see, when you pull this loop right here off of that hook, you're able to lower this down, pull the garbage bag out, secure it, and you're good to go. Another example of this is our closet. Uh, this was a big open space that had a lot of potential. And you know, when you're at home, there's just things that you gotta have, like cleaner, right? And when you're in the woods, you need stuff like bug spray. I was looking around, I was like, where can we put that? And then it hit me, it was like, we need a closet. And so utilizing these mesh pockets again, I was able to put so many uh, tools and materials that we need in here and a stool. It really doesn't impede us in any way and it's there when we need it. And honestly, you guys, the side couch here and the main couch slash bed are another great example of utilizing space well. When I first built this, the side couch did not exist and you had just all of this walking space. And while that's nice, why would I need to be walking <laughs> around in my tiny cabin that much? I wouldn't. So how can I utilize that space better, I thought? Well, I thought, well, I also have these amazing windows here. Maybe there's a way to build some sort of a chair or a couch that allows me to utilize that space better. It makes more seating, makes it more comfortable, and allows me to be able to look out at our view. Lastly, I wanna show you guys one more example that you're probably not gonna believe me on, but I'm telling you, it's true. The sleeping arrangement in here, the bed. So the mattresses, the mattress only fits within those spaces, but guess what? There's a hole four inches on this side and this side of the bed. That's eight inches that are not being utilized. That's a lot of space, especially when you're in something that's four by eight, 32 square feet. This is how you utilize that space while sleeping. We simply take our pillow here, you push it down in there. Having this extra four inches over here to stick my head, to really be able to like have a little extra space, it makes all the difference. Trust me, I know you guys are like thinking that is insane, that's not doing anything. It does, it really does. Like this is like half my head is able to have extra space. And look at this, that's all the space Riley will have now. This right here, honestly, having this little extra room here is what has allowed us to sleep comfortably in here together. When it's just you, you have all the space in the world. Look at that, it's like, can roll anywhere I want. But when you're sleeping together, that extra four inches on each one of our sides makes all the difference. So there you have it, guys. Um, I hope you learned something from this video. Those are just a few ways that you can make more with less and really utilize your space well, taking into consideration your limitations and your needs and marrying them together to come up with something awesome. I hope uh, you like this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more videos with the travel cabin and our tiny A-frame. See you guys later.